What is going on YouTubers? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today for the first time we will do here on the channel a unboxing of 10 different items that I got from Timu. It came in two separate packages. Again, 10 items in one. And basically it was a promotion where I bought three items and then I got seven items for free. So as you can tell, I got a 15 watt fast wireless charger uh, station as you can tell for zero dollars i got some earphones for zero dollars you can see it right here to the right it says zero some gloves i have a lighter it says dual arc plasma usb lighter then we got a bluetooth speaker which uh resembles a lot to the jbl speakers as you can tell from the design we got a flashlight a laser flashlight uh, or not a flashlight, but this is more like a, it says high power green laser. Supposedly this can start fires. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 Uh, we got a little tool set, a RC car and a trimming tool, as you can tell right there. And all of this was just only $53, guys. So let's see if the quality is really... Uh, as it looks on the pictures, we know that things can be quite different. So the first one that we will open is this little guy here. I think this is the lighter. It came from the USA and this is it. It comes in a little package like this. Okay, so this is the lighter. It comes with a little USB cable, as you can tell, for charging. It is completely rechargeable, so that's cool. And this is USB, this is regular. Uh, older style micro USB and uh, let me silence this real quick there we go excuse me for that guys and this is the lighter and well based on the pictures that we have here on Timu it seems like it's actually as described it is exactly what I ordered let's go ahead and open it and see if it does oh check that out guys that's super cool and then to turn it off you can either shut the lid yep that turns it off and to turn it back on you simply press on the button and it is in fact working guys now here we have this one package which has i guess nine items inside or at least i'm hoping that it does let's go ahead and crack it open i do apologize that this doesn't really quite fit here on the camera angle but man this is exciting i mean 50 bucks like come on i think that lighter locally alone is like 20 bucks and correct me if I'm wrong guys, but just the lighter alone is about 20 bucks locally. And I think I got it for free. That's one of the items that I got for free. So, okay, so I got here a whole bunch of giveaway promotions. As you can tell, a whole bunch of cards. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, when I placed my first order, I didn't get all of this stuff, guys. This is, this is cool. I mean, I can see why you see I'm a postman and I can see why I get these packages a lot. So this is the tool set. I'm going to take everything out first and then we're going to open one by one. Let's start with this one, which I have no clue what it is. Oh, these are the earphones. There we go. Okay. And uh, let's see if at least they turn on or they give us any indication that they do turn on. Um, man, these are these are cool. They have a nice little display here in the front and it's more like almost a mirror it is called the yd03 the model and then on the inside here we have so that we can store the earphones and yep they do come on now as you can tell it has a nice little uh lcd display here and then it says the left is currently charging and it has little charging bars right here which is nice so I guess that's how you activate the little charging box here. So right now we got the right on there and it is in fact working guys. I think this was one of my free items. As a matter of fact, let's go back here and I think the only thing I paid for was just the toolbox, the RC car and the trimmer. As you can tell, those are the only ones that I paid for. So this is the laser and I think this one might either require for us to charge it but still I'm going to try it just to see if it turns on. It comes with another USB cable inside. This is a micro, older micro USB cable as you guys can observe. And so we're going to set this here to the side for a second. And let's see. Oh, there we go. It does turn on. Check that out. That is cool, man. And I think it has different modes that you can change it to. 
yep yep check that out it has different modes now i'm not sure if this is going to ignite anything i think this is mainly for the looks but i'll keep you guys updated on this stuff i think that in order oh there we go it had like a little protective plastic all right and i think that it turns back off just for protection purposes you have to continuously press on the button so that it works but then if you twist here the front side i think that it changes the pattern as you guys can tell okay now we have a jbl lookalike bluetooth speaker so i think what we have to do is just slide it out to the side and the speaker is inside right here and so we get 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter uh, wire connection we have a micro i mean all these things have a micro none of them have a usb-c connection so this is another micro i guess that's for charging purposes and uh this is the speaker so it's quite simplistic they don't spend a lot of uh you know time doing uh putting things in nice looking boxes so these are the inputs okay so we get the charging input we even have it to where we can adapt a tf card we have a auxiliary port and also a usb type a connection on the back let's see if at least it starts and it does start bluetooth mode, bluetooth mode. there we go guys let's connect to it and it works wow check that out hey sounds all right it is lacking bass we know that already and for for it to be free you can't really you know you can't get mad even if the quality was bad but i would say i'll give it a solid six and a half out of a ten in sound quality I mean, it is not terrible at all. So I think it has different modes. I believe this one has FM radio as well. All right, so let's set this to the side. Our next item here will be the motorcycle gloves, and these are in size large. So as you can tell, this is definitely generic. It doesn't have a branding. And these are the gloves, guys. Check this out. Let's see if they fit well. I mean the construction appears to be solid I don't see any any defects I mean just from a quick view here I will have to look at them with details but they seem like they are okay again none branded but you know for them to be for free they work okay as you guys can tell they fit I think they run a little bit larger than I wanted to but let's see let's put the strap on and with the strap on they look better I mean you can't deny the fact that they look pretty good so these are my fingers you can see they run a little bit large like this one here my fingers like right about here uh, I guess I will have to like push it back maybe a little more but for the most part guys they work and I think these don't have the touch feature or actually they do check that out they work with your smartphone so you can touch your phone and it works and these are for free as well Wow, cool. Very, very nice. All right, guys, so our next item here will be this little toolbox, and I'm not expecting anything dramatic here. Uh, this little toolbox, I want to keep it inside of my uh, luggages on the motorcycle. I have an adventure bike, and this is just so that I can adjust, you know, something simple. All right, so this is what we get here, and uh, keep in mind that these are not professional tools. Uh, this is just so that you can do some basic stuff with them even the ratchet here when you look at it It is exactly the same as the one that we got guys. So I will have to call this a success Let's continue to the next item. Uh, this one here is a flashlight. I believe and I think it actually is a flashlight. So let's take this one out and Now this one feels solid guys this I want it inside of my garage Okay, because uh, you never know you know uh, power might run out and this one supposedly has a lot of uh, power but I don't get the actual lumens I can see why it doesn't start the batteries are not okay so this battery has to be yeah the batteries come covered with this plastic and hopefully they have a little bit of juice I just want to show you if out of the box they work 
and I'm gonna have to assume yep it does work and it's super oh my god this is super bright guys yep super super bright I mean yes it is as described even though they don't specify the lumens but it is quite bright oh finally Woo! yes we get USB-C with the flashlight so so far it seems like a cool buy if you guys ask me all right guys so for the next one here this is a charging station that appears to be disassembled so maybe we had to put some stuff on here i think we had to use the original wire as you can tell okay so that might require me to do this at a later time but let's go ahead and check this out here real quick oh look at that it is just this one piece that doesn't come assembled with it so it does have to where you simply place this on top and I guess that wire comes here to the back and then you can plug it in here all right and then that's how you get power to your watch so I guess this is cool in a certain way maybe we can uh, plug different chargers for like Samsung devices or um, uh, the Apple watch here the ultra 2 that I have maybe we can do that but it looks quite clean and if you guys look here you can you can flip this around like this and then it has different connections so you get USB uh, type C on here let's go ahead and place it on top let's see if it works all right there we go so that's USB type C the phone stays right on there all right guys so we have already the thing plugged in we're gonna test the wireless charger let's see if it does work and as you guys can tell it is in fact charging so the wireless charger does work and once again let's see if the airpod connection here works and if you look here closely the little light came on so that's to me that's a win-win let's see if that little usb-c that looks kind of sort of fragile it's kind of hard to get it connected on there but check that out guys it does work as well so this was definitely a great buy so now we are jumping here into the vintage t9 hair clipper and they claim it to be professional so on the back here we get the manuals as you guys can tell we get the clippers we get the usb finally again or good for us that we get usb-c we get a little brush for cleaning and the machine is right here guys oh my god now i can almost promise you that if my barber sees this he'll be impressed this thing is actually heavy guys and the construction wow this is impressive and this one i paid let's see here i paid 13 dollars and 49 cents and this wasn't free this was one of the items that i had to pay you can see it right there actually now it has gone down to eight dollars and nine cents but before I paid $13.49, I guess they bump up the price just to make up for some of the free stuff that I got on here. So let's see if this thing starts. I mean, I don't even know where, oh, check that out. It does start guys, it comes with this protector. All right, so it looks fragile. I can, I can tell you that right now. So this is the machine, okay, and it seems to be well calibrated let's try it here with one of my hairs on my hand and check that out guys it is working holy crap I mean that cheap that's awesome man yep it does work now my wife is gonna like my smooth fingers hey what are you doing Uncle Ray Ray's got a game hey get your finger out of there tickle, tickle. I can tell you this is definitely a win especially with this built I mean I am impressed for some reason when you unpack something you can never get it back on there the same way that it came out and now the one that we left for last which was the RC car now this is the one that I've been anticipating because believe it or not I'm just like my kid I am a kid this is the 118 scale and it looks it looks okay I mean it's not a hobby grade this is definitely a toy the batteries go underneath here 
Let's see, I don't think we have batteries in there. This one was $18, okay? If you get this from the store, I can almost promise you that you're gonna pay no less than $35 for a little RC car like this. And then this is the transmitter, which also requires two AA batteries and they don't seem to come included. Okay, so then we have the charger here for the RC car. So this one comes with rechargeable batteries, which is quite nice. And we will test this in just a moment. So this is, once again, the transmitter. It does feel a little bit cheap and flimsy, all right? But I mean, for the price, you can expect perfection. You have the little on and off switch. Everything as described, so far everything works. 50 bucks, damn, you can't beat it, guys. Let me know what you think on the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys on my next one. And in case you guys are curious, the little RC car does work. Not the fastest, I'm pretty sure we can tweak this with a better battery.